I'm Teacher Jem, your daily teacher today. How are you today? Welcome to our new learning competency. How do you feel to become a carpenter someday? Do you have some materials and tools for carpentry in your home? In this lesson, you will know how to describe the different tools and materials used in carpentry. These construction materials are used by the carpenter to build a furniture or house that makes your family safe and comfortable. At the same time, you will be guided on how to prepare tools and materials for a specific task. Our home was built using tools and materials available in our locality. Can you see it around? Can you identify them? Do you know how to use it? Great job! At this moment, let's have a short activity entitled Supply Me. In each word, supply the missing letters to form a new word. Write your answer in your activity note. Did you enjoy your activity? Splendid! This time, you are going to identify tools needed to accomplish a task. Just write your answer before each number. How did you find your activity so far? At this time, you are now ready to describe tools and materials according to their job description. To construct a house, we need to have these materials. First, we have sand. It is a fine, greedy substance found in a shore and desert. Next in line, plywood. This is a thin cross laminated sheet of wood. We also need gravel. It is a coarse aggregate of any hard inert material mixed with cement to form a concrete. Lumber. There is a wooden boards or lug that have been sawn. Nails. It is made of metal used for fastening woods. Cement. A powdered substance which when mixed with water acts as a binder of aggregate. Water, added in the mixture of cement and aggregate. Then, we need reinforcing steel bar. It is used to reinforce the strength of construction works. And lastly, corrugated galvanized iron sheet. It is used for roofing. Now that you know the basic materials used in carpentry, it's time for us to know the basic tools we need. First, we have plumb bag. It is used for vertical alignment. Next, try square. It is used to test the squareness of a stock. Hacksaw, a fine tooth saw used to cut metals and pipes. Level bar or spirit bar, a tool used in checking vertical and horizontal position. Pull push rule, it is used for measuring long distances. Claw hammer, it is used for driving and pulling out nails. Shovel, used for mixing aggregates, cement, and water. Cross cut saw, used for cutting across the grain. Rip saw, a tool used for cutting along the grain. Twister, used to tighten the wire. Combination pliers, used to cut tie wires. Did you see the illustration of the different tools and materials used in carpentry? Great! Now that you know them already in their description, do you know how to prepare and use it? 
in preparing tools and materials for a specific job, it is essential to identify first the materials, describe the tools and materials, and count them to suit for a specific job requirement. In identifying materials, there are three things to remember. First, identify materials and tools applicable to a specific job requirement. Second, count the description of the materials needed following the specific job requirements. And last, identify materials and tools according to the job requirements. In securing requisition of materials, you must remember these three. First, request the needed materials and tools according to the prepared list. Second, follow the company standard operating procedure or SOP. And last, provide substitute materials and tools without sacrificing cost and quality of work. And for receiving and expecting materials, there are also three things to remember. First, inspect materials and tools issued according to numbers and specifications. Second, check materials, tools, and accessories for damages according to the enterprise procedures. And last, place the materials and tools in an appropriate location nearest to workplace. Since you are now familiar with the names of tools and materials used in carpentry, you are now getting better in becoming a carpenter. Now, it's time for our activity. For this activity, complete the table by describing the uses of different tools and materials used in carpentry. Write your answers in your activity notebook. Follow the format given below. Great! You are now getting closer to become a carpenter. Now, let's try this activity to measure your mastery in preparing tools and materials for a specific task. Father Carl is going to construct a simple cabinet. He wants to list down the tools and materials needed for his project. Now, let's help him to complete his list in making his project. Just follow the format in your screen. You want more challenge? Try this activity to measure how you mastered this lesson. Let's end this lesson by doing something new. In your activity notebook, draw the tools and materials used in carpentry and write its uses.